Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit collect contact info from your user from the project build a simple flow. So here in this unit, we are simply going to create a flow, a screen flow by the name contact info. And this screen flow will basically be capturing the contact info, uh, contact information from the user. So without wasting any time, let's quickly launch our trailer playground, which we are, which I have already done over here. Go to your gear like icon and select setup. Once it is loaded, you have to go to your quick find and search for flow. Select this flows under process automation section. And this will open up the list of all the flows that are there present in my org. We have to create a new flow. So click on new flow button and the type of flow that we are going to create is of screen flow. So just click on create. Now moving on next is this has opened up a flow builder for us where the basic structure is already present. The first thing that we have to do is we have to add a screen element into it. So just click on this plus icon and under interaction section, just select screen. Here, the label that we have to provide for our screen element is, let's see what it is. It has to be contact info. So I will just copy this. Make sure you avoid copying the full stop. Otherwise, you might run into errors at the time of checking the challenge. So I'll just give the uh, label contact info. API name will be auto-populated. So this is the screen that we are going to create. Just click on done. So this has created the screen by the name contact info. Now just click on save and the label flow label that we have to give is new contact over here. It is mentioned, just copy this, go back to your flow builder, paste this in the flow label text area. API name will be auto populated. Just click on save. Now next is we have to add uh, another, uh, so we have to add components, uh, input components into our flow or the screen element. But before that, we have to create a record variable. So we, have, we will be creating a new resource of type variable. Then the data type has to be record and it will be built on contact as we are fetching the contact information from the user. So let's go uh, back to our flow builder, but let's copy this API name uh, before going there. Let's go back to flow builder. And now on your far left, you will find that there is this uh, toggle toolbox icon just select this click on new resource button resource type has to be variable api name i'm going to paste it which i copied from the challenge data type is going to be record object is uh, going to be contact now here just click on done now this has created a record variable for us now what this record variable actually mean is uh, so using the dot notation i can access any of the field of the contact object with this name. So suppose how I can use this variable. So I want to fetch the field first name of the contact object. So what I can do or how can I fetch is simply con this variable name, contact dot first name, contact dot last name, contact dot email, contact dot phone. And that's how this record variable is going to perform. And this is how we are going to use it further in our flow logic. So this was record variable that we have to create. Now moving on next is we have to add input component on our screen element, uh, which is uh, the name component and the name that we have to, the label that or the API name that we have to give to this input component is contact name. So let's just copy this before going to our flow builder. Now moving on to the flow builder, just double click on contact info screen element and this will open up in the edit mode. Now here on your left hand side, you have to just search for name, select uh, and drag it, drag and drop over your screen. Now here first name and last name two fields or two input uh, fields have come uh, have come up over here. The API name that we have to give I've already copied. So I'm going to paste it. Now, next thing what we have to do is if you scroll to the bottom, there is this advanced section or accordion, just select this. Now here you will find that there is this checkbox manually assign variables. So what basically it is going to do is you have to first of all, check it. Now this will open up another section for us store output values to select variables. Now what, uh, 
uh, what these uh, variables are going to simply do is so for the first name we have to provide one uh, value so let's say contact again we are using the record variable which we created a few minutes back and here i'm going to use first name so what it is going to do is so whatever value i'm going to enter over here uh, when i'll run this uh, flow so suppose i entered in the first name abc so this abc value will be uh, stored into this variable contact dot first name and if at all i want this value abc to be used further in my flow uh, to build some logic or want to take some decision then i can use again the same variable to fetch whatever value i have entered over here similarly it is going to work for the last name so i'm going to again assign uh, this contact dot last name so whatever value I'm going to enter X, Y, Z into this last name, it will be captured in this variable and I can further use in my flow to perform some decision or some uh, logic. So let's click on done. That's all we have to do uh, for our input variable, uh, name variable. Just click on done. Now, next thing, uh, what we have to do is we have to add one pick list input component. So let's go back to your uh, flow builder again, open your contact info by double clicking on it. And in your search component, just select a search for pick list, select this and drag and drop just below the name component. Now here, right now, uh, it is not specified which uh, which what values it is going to contain what list of information it is going to contain this pick list value uh, so first of all let's give out the label of this pick list component so the label that we have to give is account so i will copy this and paste it in the label text area api name will be auto populated data type has to be text now as the name specify or the label specify this is going to be our account list now, right now, this uh, if you will run this flow, you will not find any value inside this pick list. Why? Because uh, right now we have just uh, set the label of this component. I want uh, in order to set what values and the list of account should appear in this uh, pick list, we have to go further ahead. So what we have to do, if you scroll down, there is this choice option coming up over here. Just click on this uh, search area or the text area and select new choice resource. So here we are going to create a new choice resource, which will uh, which will contain all the list of the account that we have in our org. So let's uh, select the resource type. Here we are going to select the record choice set. Now, API name, I will be select, uh, uh, just copying it from here, accounts, and go back to your flow builder and paste this in the API name. Now, object is going to be account because I want to uh, see the accounts list over there. So, I'll just select accounts. Now, here, I'm not going to filter my records. I just want all get all the account records that are there in my org. Now configure each choice, what it is going to do is basically, so once we have created our pick list uh, field on our uh, and kept it on our uh, screen element, and once the user click on this pick list field and the drop down opens, what value should user be able to see? So right now I want a name. So as per our challenge, we want name to be there. So once we click on that, it will show me the name of the or name of all the accounts. So if I select email from here, so it is going to show me the email. This is just an example. So label will be name, data type will be text and choice value. What choice we want? So the ID should be there. So in the front end, it is going to be name, label will be name and the value behind those name will be ID. Why? Because name can be duplicates, but ID, it will always be unique. Now, there is the section store more account field values. What it is going to do, let's first add the values that we want to add over here. So ID, so ID basically means account ID. Why? Because we are building this resource on account object. So everything that we are going to uh, fetch without dot notation will be related to the account object. So ID it is a variable. Uh, so the uh, ID value we are going to assign to contact dot account ID. So what does this specify? This specify that we are relating the account selected from the pick list value, uh, pick list field 
this account will get related to the contact that we are creating. So basically it is going to act as parent account to the contact whose information the user is going to enter into the first name and last name. So this will create the related account. So what we are doing, uh, assign account ID to contact account ID field which is a lookup field just click on done that's all we have to do it has assigned this variable now click on done now one now if you will run your flow and see then you will see the list of all the accounts over there so just click on save moving on next what we have to do is uh we have to add another input component which is toggle input so over here we will be adding that by the apa name update toggle Go back, open up your screen element again and search for toggle. Drag and drop it on the screen just below account. Name, we are going to give it as update toggle. Now here, what it is, uh, so if you will see that right now it is inactive, right? Uh, the label is also inactive. So before moving further, before explaining further, let's first of all put the label. So I will just copy this label from here and go back to your flow builder. Instead of toggle, just paste this one. Now here, if you will see that inactive show, inactive uh, toggle is, the label is inactive, right? But we have to change it. Active label should be update existing. By default, it, it is active for uh, active label, but we are updating it to update existing. And inactive should be create other contact. So let's just paste this over here. And that's all we have to do. Uh, this should be unchecked and this value should be use values when user. So if you scroll down, go to this advanced section and this uh, checkbox should be unchecked and this first radio button should be selected just click on done before that let me just give you a gist of it what this toggle is going to do so once you enter all the details over here and make this check uh, make this toggle inactive this is going to create a new contact but when when it is on the other side the toggle is on the other side uh, say active then it in that case it is going to check if there is any existing uh, contact present by the same name then it is going to update that contact. Right now in this unit, this logic will not be performed. This is just the elements that we are keeping in this unit. All the logics will be performed in the further unit of this project. So just click on done, click on save, and that's all we have to do over here in this unit. Just go back to your flow builder again. Our flow has been saved. Go back to your challenge and click on verify for uh, two on 100 points. Now, basically, we had just put on the components. We performed the logic in further units. Let's see if we have passed this challenge or not. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Hope you, I was able to convey all the concepts and you were you got some clarity. See you in the next video. Till then, thank you. Take care.